She's playing Final Fantasy 3 again. I figured out the problem from last time. What I what mistake I made. So we're gonna go resolve that mistake I made. Hopefully. Nope. I can sense what has happened to you. You must now heed the words of Elder Topapa. Which isn't him. And that's a healing thing. Okay. You have come, Luneth. So it is you has been chosen. You must understand what you're meeting, that you're meeting with the crystal was not happenstance. It was the crystal's will you have been chosen. Chosen for what? I don't understand. A long time ago, a traveler came to me carrying a newborn child. His face was covered in soot and his clothes were burnt to tatters. The child he carried in his arms was you. To think, even as a newborn, you were already destined to be chosen by the crystal. You must now set forth on your journey, take your power, the light you hold in your heart, and use it well. Must make your way to Kazus. Go swiftly, but be prepared. Okay. This time, now because I did that and I lost video signal again. God damn, am I frustrated? Come on back. God, my TV sucks. All right, let's get out of this town. This time I think he'll be alright. Yeah, not scared anymore. Ark, it's me, Luneth. Don't be afraid. Why did you run off on your own? What are you trying to prove anyway? Let me go with you, Luneth. I want to show everyone that I'm not a weakling. I did manage to come here all by myself. You'll take me with you, Luneth, won't you? Alright, if that's what you want. Hey! And now we're two. Dual long swords, baby. All right, Ark. You're a damage dealer for now. <laughs> for now. But you're still jo your job level is only one, which kind of sucks. Uh, let's take a look at the map. Can I go this way?
Nithril Helm. Just lying around. Of course, it won't let me zoom the camera here. You can hear me mashing the button because there's supposed to be an item. There it is. Cast Thunder. Deals Lightning. Well, there's ghosts everywhere. Howdy there, says the name. I'm from Canaan, but I've been stuck here ever since Nell Valley got blocked by a giant rock. On top of that, I got a curse cast on me along with these other folks. Ain't that a trip and a half? On that, we have to do something to help these people. Say, if I lent you my airship, do you lads think you could help me and these other saps? From what I hear, the curse can be dispelled through the power of a mithril ring. Unfortunately, we seem to be all out of mithril rings here. Even if we could get the mithril, Taka the smith has been turned into a ghost himself, and his daughter, the apprentice, has gone missing. My airship's hidden in the desert west of here. Use it to find a way to lift this curse. Okay. Okay, fuck the gin. I don't need the rest, I'm fine. Okay, so, uh... Alright. Apparently, I shouldn't go in that cave just yet. So I won't. And I found the airship. Eric, who are you? What are you doing here? I could ask you the same thing. This is Sid's airship, and he's letting us use it. Raised by Kazus, raised in Kazus by the mithril smith Taka, whose rigorous training led her to run away from home again. Refia. Wasn't she a cutie? 
not so much there. I'm Refia. I'll have you know that my father and I forged the parts of this ship back in Kazus. Kazus. So that means you're the blacksmith's daughter. You have to help us make a mithril ring. Yes, that's the only way we'll be able to lift the curse on Kazus. I... I can't... I can't make mithril rings. I didn't study that far. I didn't want to. So well, I don't think Sid's going to be particularly happy with that news. Wait, I know where we can find a ring. My father forged a mithril ring for King Sassoon a long time ago. You should still have it. Let me go with you. I can make mithril rings, but I want to help my father and the people of Kazus. <laughs> I think she should come with us, Luneth. Me too. Slacking off saved her from the curse, so maybe that luck might rub off on us. Hey, that's not funny. Oh, is she pissed right now. Luneth, you ain't gonna bang this girl. You ain't gonna bang her at all. Okay, and now our party's three. Also sporting double long swords. Raphia. So Luneth has a shield for better defense. And these two are both sporting double longswords for super offense. Could I save? I couldn't save. Well, fuck it. All aboard. Okay. Uh, instant air castle. Uh, ship, airship, instant airship. In the other games, this was like, oh, can't go over mountains with the airship. And I assume this is Castle Sassoon. So let's explore a little bit. Can't go over mountains. Well, not a lot of places you can go at all, it looks like. So I got wrecked over here. I can save while I'm in the airship. So that's good to know. Oh, these boulders are probably totally going to move at some point. The sealed cave. Well, maybe not. I'm gonna save. And let's go see what's going on in this sealed cave. Alright, let's see if I can win this fight. Some mummies? Some mummies. They hit pretty hard. I don't hit very hard at all. Okay. If this doesn't kill him, I'm probably gonna lose the fight. They cast poison. I killed one. All right, Rafia is gonna run away. Rafia is gonna run away. Run away, Rafia. And I can't because he hit me for fifty. <laughs> All right. We'll stay out of the sealed cave. That's what I just learned. And with only one option...
That being uh, the Castle Sassoon. Yeah. I want to see one thing. If I... Am I going to be Refia? I am Refia. Sweet. Well, I want to be Refia. Instead of Luneth. Terrible curse has befallen the people in Castle Sassoon while I was gone. Only the power of Mithril Ring may save them, and I am told. But... Ah... There's no and there, I said and. Anyway, but Kazus is suffering from the same fate as Sassoon. I must do something, but where will I find a mithril ring? I am the daughter of blacksmith of Kazus. The king must still have the ring my father made him. We've come to borrow the king's mithril ring to save Kazus. Will you let us through? <sighs> An audience with the king? Yes, I believe I can arrange that. Come, I will be waiting in the throne room. Awesome, do I just get to wander around the castle? Ah, video games. Climb all the way up this tower. Oh. Holy arrow. Wooden arrow. Actually, let me check and see. Ha. Huh. Alright, let's keep looting this castle. Yeah, we'll rest. I don't give a shit. I think that's how I want to do it. She'll be an archer for now. We'll see how far archery gets us. map okay well one tower has got to be as good as the other tower oh there's fights some undead some zombies
Well, her archery is pretty good right now. Oh, they hit hard. And that's why you put people in the back row. Sixty six XP. Only Luneth's job level went up. What the fuck is that? <laughs> All right. Anyway. No healing. Get her doing a bit more damage. Should have healed. Seventy-three. Ooh, that hits kind of hard. Ninety-one. Forty, 139 I think damage 170 81 oh lost arc son of a bitch my only phoenix down come on arc and I killed him and arc is dead but I still got my phoenix down look at arc look at him Alright, her job level went up and he leveled. And Ark's a little bitch. I gotta use it anyway. Okay, got a strong war weapon, had a bit of a- oh, I didn't want that. Oh, I'm not so scared of these guys. Oh, dark eyes, different from eye vines or whatever they were called. Arc, you little bitch. Trailing behind. Spin animation. 
Long enough. Ah, oh, a fight just before leaving. Okay. I could go rest in the other tower. And I will rest in the other tower. And we got a bunch of ghosts. Okay. So I need to go up here. Maps are a lot better in this one than they were in my last two walkthroughs. And that'll bring me here. Brings me here. Which brings me here. Throne room. The Jin curse has befallen us all. And I have no exception. Sire, these younglings have come seeking the Mithril Ring to counter the curse. The Mithril Ring? You seek to use its power to banish the Jinn once again? I would grant you this boon. However, my daughter holds the ring, and she went missing shortly before the curse was cast upon us. Jesus, these fetch quests. If the princess holds the ring, the Jinn may have taken her. If it is so, I fear for my precious Sarah. The Jinn must have taken her to its cave in the north. Don't worry, sir, we'll get her back. Oof, I don't know about that. Sire, I would like to ask you for your leave to accompany these brave souls to the sealed cave and rescue Lady Sarah. Ingus, a loyal soldier of King Sassoon's army, he narrowly escaped the Jinn curse. His prime concern is finding the missing Princess Sarah. Ingus. You have my leave, Ingus, unless there are any objections. Of course not, his sword is worth twice that of these two. What a bitch. Now that's not fair, but I agree with having one of the king's men, this would help us a lot. I went from like one party member to 40 party members in 20 minutes. There's a secret passageway in the sealed cave. Search for the skeleton key. I am counting on you and your friends, Zingus. Banish the Jinn and save us all. We're friends? We're not friends. I barely know the guy. I definitely don't like the guy. Although, the fight would have been easier, probably, with Ingus. Oh, Ingus, you suck, man. Dude, take a longsword. <laughs> 
Take two long swords. Ingus, man. Alright. Uh... The question is, how do I get to those other rooms? I really don't know, because I want those chests. But I don't know how to get around. Most mysterious. Another save outside of the sealed cave. Okay. I'm back. Two mummies, but four people. And I'm slightly leveled up over last time. Oh snap, did I hit him for a lot. Alright, well... That went way better. Oof. And he inflicted darkness. I have nothing. I have no way to get rid of darkness. Floating coins.
Level 6 and all of a sudden it takes forever to level up. What the? I thought I went the wrong way for a second. 500 gil, not bad. I guess that's the skeleton key. Ingus, thank the heavens you're all right. Milady, you must hurry back to the castle. We will take care of the rest here. But before you go, we need to borrow your mithril ring. There is no need. I will go with you. I have come here to banish the djinn and save my people, just like you. Your royal highness has spoken. What should we do? She should be all right, as long as Ingus looks after her. No harm will come to Lady Sarah as long as I live and breathe. Thank you, everyone. Whoa, five people in the party. Oh, before I forget, press the square button whenever you wish to speak to me. Now let's hurry. Let's talk to her right now. Oh, I should tell you about saving. Saving means taking record of your adventures, but remember you can only save when you are on the world map. Thanks, Sarah. Uh, oh, she didn't really join the party. Okay. Everybody's doing pretty okay on health, looks like. Oh, she's just chilling behind me. Revenant. In the last two games, these guys would wreck me, would paralyze. Ah, oh, man, she's poisoned also? Yeah, fuck it. I don't know how uh, spells work in this game. <laughs> but I cannot have her poisoned. What? 
the poison I didn't take? Motherfucker. <laughs> I wasted a poison. Uh, whatever. Jesus, this fucking encounter rate. did this whole time anyway whatever regular dungeon crawl right now. Oh! Damn, she's got some big titties for like a weird sprite. Thanks? That was random. Man, I hope she does that in the boss fight. Boss fight. Prepare to meet your doom, Jin. This ring will banish you once and for all. Nothing's happening, but why? Ha 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 ha. Ha. Your bauble has no power over me now that I am infused with the power of darkness. Okay. Raphael will attack. He will use Anarctic Wind. 
he will attack and he will use an arctic wind three hundred forty four three hundred seventy two and the fight's over okay You cannot escape the ring's power now. It's a cock ring. No. Hey, what's going on? You must return to castle, my lady. Do not fear for us. We will be fine. What is happening? Ingus. Well, she seemed high level. She could cast arrow. Oh, it's the four of us back in the crystal room. Well, where are we? I recognize this place. It's the cave with the crystal. It is I who summoned you. You four have been chosen to be the warriors of light, the bringers of hope. You must take with you the last of my light and the last of our world's hope. Unless you act, the light will be lost and the equilibrium forever broken. Once you take in the light, you will be able to extract the power from the other crystals. Whoa. Get a bit of a cutscene here. I, did I beat the game? <laughs> what just happened? Um, I guess I'm gonna let this play out. Not entirely sure what just happened. Oh, you must drive the darkness from this world and restore it to its rightful place. <laughs> you are our last hope. Why did he get credits? Like, why did the... <laughs> I guess it's like intro credits or something, but that's weird. Blessed with the crystal's light.
Now go, step on the shining circle behind this altar to return to the surface. Embrace your destiny, warriors of light. Congratulations, Kupo. You can now change jobs. You can access job specific abilities by changing jobs, Kupo. Be careful though, you won't be automatically proficient in each job, Kupo. You'll need to practice each new job to maximize its potential, Kupo. Try it out, good luck, Kupo. Thanks, Mog. Okay, we'll save here. Save completed. And uh, we'll call that an episode of... They saved? Of uh, J Plays Final Fantasy 3. Weird. Thought maybe it was going to be a two-part beat the game, but no, there's a little bit more coming. Uh, so we got jobs now, so I'll do that, and I guess I'll go back to the castle, and that'll be the next episode. So, thanks for watching.